Welcome back to the channel guys. It's another beautiful day here at High PSI Performance. Uh, this 2015 Mustang is going back to the dealership. It's got some mechanical failure. Um, they're gonna take it back and maybe make a decision on what to do with that one and drop us, uh, drop us off another Mustang. And then today we've got another one to dyno. We've got this uh, C6 Corvette. Uh, we're gonna strap this one on the roll and see what kind of power it makes. All right, guys, got the vet strapped down. Let's go ahead and make a baseline pull and uh, see where this vet's at. So the baseline numbers are in. Um, it's just a factory tune file. This car does have barrel ram intake, log tube headers, and the rocker arms have been changed. Other than that, I think that's it for this car. And it looks like we've got 321 horsepower, 346 foot pounds of torque. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up the uh, LS2 C6 Corvette tune. Uh, it looks like we need 343 horsepower and 371 foot-pounds of torque. Like I said, guys, all this car has is a Vera Ram intake and some long tube headers. It still has the factory exhaust on the back. So talk to the customer, we're gonna get an exhaust system for it and put a Texas Speed cam in it and then it'll be back for a return and uh, get this thing in the mid 400s for him. That's all for this one guys. Let's see what else we got going on in the shop today. Alright guys, so the next project we've got going on today is an 87 Cutlass. Uh, the customer put in a crate engine 350 uh, and trans and they also put a Fitech fuel injection system on it with one of the Phytech command centers and he's actually having a problem it's pretty hot where we are here in Texas uh, where it's vapor locking that uh, command center so uh, we advised him to go to an EFI fuel tank and run uh, new lines to the Phytech and get rid of that command center get rid of the uh, stock pump on the side of the motor that's feeding that command center and uh, get rid of his vapor lock issues for good so let's see what we got uh, parts wise what we got in for this thing. All right guys, so this is what we got in the box. New fuel tank ready for EFI use. We got new fuel tank straps, sending unit, fuel line, regulator and fittings. New fuel pump, filler neck hose, tube, and a uh, replacement uh, coupling for the uh, filler neck tube. So all this will get rid of that command center and turn this car into an EFI capable machine. So here's the Oldsmobile. Mm, classic T-top. Mm. Here's motor, here's that command center that I was talking about that we're gonna be getting rid of today. So, we'll start tearing it down and getting this new EFI system installed. Thank you. 
we've got the tank pretty much situated now. What we had to do was modify the fuel pump housing and the fuel sending unit housing. This kit, uh, these two components are designed to work with either a uh, seven inch depth tank or a 15 inch depth tank. Um, so you have to modify them for whichever tank you're using because the company that manufactures this tank has multiple different uh, styles of tanks, but they all use the same style sending unit and um, EFI fuel pump housing. Um, inside of this fuel pump, we have a Walboro 255. Um, this is our feed line, and then return, and then vent. And then the sending unit is set up for this year model uh, cutlass. So now that that's all together, we're gonna add the wires for the sending unit, send the wires for the fuel pump, and then get the tank kind of uh, put up close to its home, run our fuel lines, and get this fuel system going. guys so we got the fuel system uh, installed the new tank the in tank pump sending unit Corvette fuel pressure regulator and filter and then line ran up here to our Phytec system now I'm going to our Chevy 350 so let's go ahead and uh, cycle the key here and uh, see if we can get this joker to fire up guys that's gonna wrap up the video for today got the uh, c6 corvette tuned and did the fuel system upgrade on the cutlass we also had this mustang get dropped off today we're gonna be doing a built motor with a supercharger uh, on this 3v so stay tuned for that hope you guys enjoyed today's episode we'll see you on the next one